hi guys welcome back to prospect channel tv thank you very much for this having you here may god bless you all immediate past senate minority leader and senator representing abia south district senator any naya Habaribi has said that those referring to the candidature of the presidential flag bearer of labor party mr peter obi as Igbo presidency and mischievous and on a smell campaign to demarket him. Senator Abaribe, who is seeking re election to the platform of the All Progressive Grand Alliance, ABGA, urged that it is unfair to single out Obi and link his ambition with his tribe while leaving out other presidential candidates. Abaribe, who spoke during a virtual town hall meeting by Ikenga online, wondered why obese traditions are not also referring to Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, as Fulani presidency, and Bola Tinubu of the All Progressive Congress, APC, as Yoruba presidency. He said that those trying to link obese ambition with the agitation in the southeast we are part of those behind the political exclu exclusion of the race from nigerians political equilibrium the former abia deputy governor insisted that obi should be seen as an individual pursuing his constitutionally guaranteed right without any links to his tribe and religion it is unfortunate that Peter Obi's emergence, which is now a silver lining, has come with complications. Tunubu has a presidential ticket. Nobody is saying is a Yoruba ticket. Atiku has a ticket. Nobody is saying is a Fulani ticket. But Peter Obi got a ticket, and everybody is shouting, "Is Igbo presidency?" So even try. Some even tried to link him with the Biafra agitation. Have they tried to associate Tunubu with the Duduwa self-determination agitation or Atiku within the Fulani Hesmen Menace or the banditry in the north? Senator Abaribe wondered why some people have continued to live in fear and suspicion of the Igbo or impute or necessary motive to genuine moves by Igbo sons and daughters. Hmm. He just said it so. The point is, Indigo are highly, highly tribal in all they do. They always fight with whoever differs from their point of view. I will not vote Peter Obi because I am not convinced of his past performances as governor. Simple. Someone just dropped that. Hey, <laughs> hey, really? You will not vote him simply because is an Igbo man and contesting against Yoruba Tinubu. Just ride on. It will please you to hear that you are guilty of what you just said. Please, we don't need tribe here. What we need is Nigeria. We are our brother's keeper. Every plot to differ the youth with ethnic city. Religion is dead on arrival. Please, shape your sword, support your candidate. We don't need distractions. Hmm. The truth is that, you see, all these people, they are just looking for every means to make sure that the, the market Peter will be. They have tried to link him to Biafra agitations. Just like what Senator Abaribe have just said. Which region is free, if I may ask? Which region in Nigeria is free? No way. No region is free. In the north, you have Fulani Hesmen. You have bandits, you have Boko Haram. So why are people not linking Atiku Abubakar to that? The Northerners will tell us that an Igbo man is not trusted because of Biafra agitations in the Southeast. But they will not talk about the bandit, the, the banditry and the Boko Haram and Fulani heads men killing people every now and then in the North. This is really very surprising. And these are one of the reasons why Southeasterners are agitating. Why is it that everything about them is, is being seen differently? 
Why? Why is it that everything about the Southeast is, is being seen differently? These people that have been neglected for since, okay, since the inception of democracy in Nigeria, they have not even had that choice, that chance of becoming a president. But Peter Obi himself is not even preaching about Igbo presidency. You have not even heard Peter Obi say anything about, I want to be president because it's our turn. No. He talks about Nigeria, how to solve the problem on ground. He's not coming out, you know, to become the next president of Nigeria because he's an Igbo man and because the Igbos feel that it's their turn. They have, they have never had the opportunity and all that. Peter Obi is far, 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 very far from that. But these people, who knows that Peter Obi is capable? But because of their evil agenda, they always want to they, they they want to continue to pocket Nigeria in their in their armpit. They will start, you know, linking Peter Obi to agitations and all that. Peter Obi was once a governor in Anambra State. And why he was a governor, these agitations were still on. May they go check record. He don't ever support agitations. What he always said, the federal government should address the issue of agitations. And that is the right thing to say. Nigerian government should address the issue of agitations. These people who are agitating, they are not just talking blah, blah, blah. They are making sense. Everybody is talking about their friends, agitations and all that. What does it take the government, in fact, to listen to their plight? Go to the root of agitations and stop going after agitators. You keep on making one mistake over and over. Now, Tunubu is from the southwest. Are they not agitating in the southwest? They have Oduduwa there. Oduduwa uh, uh, nation agitators. They have it in the southwest. People are not linking um, Tunubu to Oduduwa agitators because it's an Yoruba man. People are not linking Abubaka, Atiku Abubaka to bandits and Boko Haram Fulani Hesmen because he's a northerner. But people are linking Peter Ubi to Biafran agitate, agitate, agitations or whatever just because he's an Igbo man. You see the hatred. It's just written boldly on the wall. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you very much for this having you here.